Hello my lovelies, welcome to another fabulous floral day. Today I'm going to be using lovely photos from the gardening book again and I do believe these are peonies. Please tell me if I'm incorrect but I think that's what they are. I really don't know. So we're going to be using those, a couple of handmade tickets and some book pages. So let's get started on this. I'll just move these out of my way and put them in order that I'm going to need them. So get rid of that clip. And here we go. Got my quick stick, which helps me get the tape off. I did say get the tape off eventually. I've seen people using those um, binder clips and I wondered where they got them from. I was in our local stationery store called Office Works the other day and they had little boxes of them. So guess what? I got one! They're only oh, about five dollars and you get six in there. So that's pretty good. So now I have got binder clips to hold my pages down when I'm working on them. If I'm working not on the full page that is, otherwise they're going to get in the way. But they are wonderfully big, which is great if you've got a, a you know a big fat page like this one that's not going to sit right for you. You can always hold it down with the the clip, which is wonderful. Okay, now I've purposely left the the margin on one side because I wanted to marry those up in the middle so that it looks like that. Don't ask me why, I just felt compelled to do it that way today. I normally take all the borders off, but that one just sort of screamed at me, leave me, leave me. So follow my journal's instructions and do what I'm told, and I'm sure it's going to work out well. I don't think there's anything I want to do at this particular moment to put down there, but who knows? In another couple of minutes, some inspiration might grab me by the heartstrings and say, yep, you can do that with those. Because they're blank and there's nothing on them and, you know, we'd love to see something on them. Yeah, I'm getting that message already. Paper lace. That's it, paper lace. Open my little folder. Get out my packages of paper lace. I know I've got bright and pretty in here somewhere, unless I've used it all. Ah, oh, I think they has used all the bright and pretty stuff. They're little birds. I don't want to put them in there right now. I don't want to put brown in there. Oh, I must have used all my bright and pretty ones, so I'm guessing that may be green. Let's see if I've got it to fit. That's the next thing. Come on. I love these skinny things that I get my beads on, but I'm not real keen trying to get stuffed out. I'm calling tweezers. Yeah, I might have enough there. We'll, we'll just have to see. But I've answered the call. Okay, bless. Okay. I'll worry about putting those back into that folder in a minute or so. Oh, that kind of works well. Yep, okay. You win, journal, you win. You get some pretty borders in there. And I'm going to make it the same size so that there's 
no favoritism. Cannot have favoritism. My little thin tape out and put some tape down there. And snip. And another little thin tape. just noticed this very torn piece here. No, I think I'll leave it torn. Leave it, Ruth. Leave it. Don't overthink. Okay, take the tape off. Tamp it down first on one little bit so that it doesn't lift off. Okay, and almost on the edge, but not 100% on the edge. Just a little bit further. Back. Oh, that's pretty. I do like that. Thank you, General, for letting me know what should go there. That's kind of cool. I do like that very much. Now, they're the same length, but they're not the same width. And that does not matter one iota. Okay, now, to work out what we're going to do with these pretty pages, pretty flowers, one there, Now I have to admit something to you today. I am not actually doing it on the right day. I am pre-recording and scheduling this to appear on the Saturday. I take what chance I get at the moment to make videos, which is not often, but that's okay. It's lovely having someone here that I can talk to, even if it does throw my schedule out just a little bit. So I'm making videos and scheduling them as when and if I can. So you'll have to forgive if my timing is a little bit out sometimes. I think I took this one from the bottom and I should have taken it from the top. Well, let's just rearrange things a little bit. Let's have this one at the top. Because there is some black that the other one can... Oh, there's black on both of them. That's okay. It'll still look... Yeah, it still looks lovely. Still looks lovely. I'm a happy girl when things go well. Oh, that's a little rhyme, almost. She's a poet and she don't know it. Frowned at that. She's a poet and she don't know it. She's a poet and she doesn't know it. Okay, that's looking pretty. Now, Oh, and 
I can put the other one there because it can cover up some of the... Whoops, turn it around. It can cover up some of the black. Yeah, that works. Ha! Huh. Love it when a plan comes together like that. And I'm liking the book page behind this. It really is effective. I was thinking about what to put behind it, and I was playing with a book page at the time, and I thought, ooh, well, that would be different. Okay, we'll put that there at an angle. Yep, still going to stay on the page. That's kind of cool. I like that. Do I want to do that there? No, I don't want to do that there. I still want that one down the bottom. you get the date right when you do this because <laughs> I remember one day putting up 2033 or 34 or something like that some obscene number that had no relevance at all to what I was working on I had to go and cover it up which was a bit disastrous now where is that excuse me reaching but I need a stable something to put behind there so that I can put the stamp on the 12th of April. Gosh, where has she gone so quickly? Look at that. Perfect. I'll put that over this side of the camera so I don't have to reach in front of you again. Oh, and hello to you too. Somebody's having a lovely beep, beep, beep out there. All right, my darlings, this is it for the day. I've got the two tickets that I've handmade and laid some glimmery embossed tickets or flags underneath them. I've got a couple of leaves that I've used from my, from my die-cut machine and just normal cardstock for the top that has been stamped. I've got the peonies, the book paper and the paper pretties. And I've got the date, 12th of May. So that's it for now. Thank you so very, very much for coming to watch another one of my fabulous florals. We haven't got many pages to go. Look at that, just a few. So enjoy, and I will catch up with you in the next video. Bye-bye for now, my loves.